You ready? Oh, yes. Good. We want to be as efficient as possible. We only got limited hours. Teamwork, teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> All This week, I'm visiting my friends Melissa and Clay Rankin at their historic home in downtown Mobile. They're putting their house on the market, which is really a bittersweet feeling for almost anyone getting ready to sell. So guys, you're gonna be moving? With mixed emotions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Melissa and Clay called me in to get their house buyer ready, and it's a really large area, but I think I'm up to the challenge. I want you guys to tell me what it is that you feel like it needs to change, because you guys are going to be doing all this work, remember? Right. Right. So. That's yeah. okay, we're ready for that. We are. You want to go first? Well, no, because you hate the front, so you go right <laughs> ahead. Yeah, our, our front, I mean, the way we live in this house is we're really in the back a lot, because okay. we have space for the kids to play. It's a larger space, and we convene back there. Our grill is back there. So this is sort of what I would consider to be the unkempt, unutilized side of the house. Uh, we don't spend any time out here to speak of. We check the it, mail. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you could give us to make it look clean and cut and you know finished. With the ultimate goal of selling, selling, selling the, the house. house. <laughs> The biggest design dilemma here is that it's a corner lot and has three sides that face the street. So we're gonna get to work solving all of those problems. I think it would be a great idea to power wash this wall and all the moss that's growing on the wall. I think we're gonna need a lot of pine straw. We can remove the shrubs that are kind of scrappy looking. These historic homes have so much character in their architecture that I wanna make sure that the landscape kind of takes a back seat. So we're gonna make it neat, clean, and simple. Because once you get in there, it'll sell itself. Mm -hmm. you know and then a rug underneath it okay and again this is about styling so that it looks like it's being lived in sure you know and not super sterile I mean that's what styling is all about is to be able to show people how they can use that space so can we cut this stuff too kind of yeah. neaten mm -hmm. it up it's just so bare like we have no screening there's no privacy we spend a lot of time on our back porch and to have nothing there just feels very bare okay one of the most common mistakes I see when people are trying to sell their homes is that they want to reflect some of their own personality into the sale. But it's really more important to make sure that you think about what the next person's going to want, not what you want. I had thought about maybe some fruit trees because I like fruit. You have to remember that at this but point, it's I'm not selling the house. about you anymore. It's about whoever's coming next. Right. I do think that the things that she suggested uh, have not been expensive, but they're going to be game changers. They're going to be things that we can get done in a timely schedule. And, you know, we're excited about the way it's going to turn out. So I think the Rankins are on board, but they still have two things to consider. They're on a deadline and they're doing all the work themselves. We have a deadline. We have a deadline. And we have friends, but we don't want to ask them to come over and help. So we're going to do it ourselves, the two of us, and hope to remain in an intact marriage after the project yes. is done. I am a little nervous because it is a lot of work. We have a six and an eight year old, so um, our eight year old will be no help and our six year old will run circles around her. <laughs> so in other words, we have a crew. Doing a little dirt work. A little dirt work. Mom asked me to wide up a monkey glass. What the hell am I doing? You're doing great. Clay, Melissa, and their kids have been working super hard on their backyard, front yard, and side yard getting it prepped for the sale. And they've been sending me texts with videos. And I have to say, getting a little jealous of the work, so I'm gonna go over and check it out. We are getting it done. Right, babe? Good job, babe. And it partly might be because I'm afraid it's not gonna all get done. But regardless, I'm going over to help them with the rest of the project. So, you guys ready to get started? Yeah, let's do mm -hmm. it. All right, you ready? Oh, yes, yeah. we wanna be as efficient as possible. We only got limited hours. Teamwork, teamwork. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> We're starting off with the window boxes that add a big impact for a small amount of money. Now we're adding a line of privacy shrubs that are going to get nice and tall to block that view to the commercial property right next door. <gasps> Why is this so heavy? Next, we're planting these really fragrant citrus plants that Melissa's going to be able to take with her to the next house. Now we're adding longleaf pine straw, which gives every landscape bed a finished touch. 
these container plants with a little bit of seasonal color are really going to add a bright spot to the front entrance. The last step is power washing, and yes, that even includes the moss on the brick wall, sadly. It had to go. It makes it look fresh and clean, which is what the new home buyers are going to want to see. So, let go of the moss. Let it go. <laughs> yep. I love it. I didn't really realize the amount of um, change it would bring until it really all came together. But to have the wow factor there makes us almost like, why are we leaving? We love this place. It's so unfortunate that so many people go to sell their houses and do all this work and they never get to enjoy it. My advice is do it before you think it's time to sell. Enjoy that space. Why don't we do this like five, six years ago? Oh, we didn't have $500? I mean, that's ridiculousness. It really is when you think about, well, what did we spend that $500 on that was more important than how our backyard looks every day when we drive up and leave and sit out here and watch our children play basketball? I mean, it, exactly. it should have been done earlier. I think what we've created here is a nice, welcoming space that people, anybody that passes by the house or looks at this listing is going to want to come right in and take a look at it. And that was the whole goal, to sell this house. But until it does sell, I hope that Melissa, Clay, and the kids can just enjoy the space that we've created here. Why is it for down? No, okay. roll all the way down the driveway. I changed that line completely. When she said knocking the wall down, that They're one doing what I said to do. Yeah, we are. We are, we are. Right, okay, okay, okay. all right. Okay. <laughs>